Which royal family will rule the lanes tonight? Chris and Ryan Barnes currently sit upon the throne, but two other father-son duos look to take that crown. Tom and Brady Smallwood, and Ronnie and Caden Russell. Those two families square off for the chance to dethrone the Barnes. Next on the PBA King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition. of the Royal Family Edition of King of the Lanes. Three father-son combos gunning for the title of King. Tom Smallwood, Brady Smallwood, they've got a serious height disadvantage as they take on their great friends, Ronnie and Caden Russell. The winner will look to dethrone those two, Ryan and Chris Barnes. They are enjoying their time on the throne, aren't they, by yeah, the way? Yeah, Barnes looks pretty comfortable Maybe there. too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Rob Stone, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson, Queen Kimberly Pressler will join us a little bit later. Um, let's harken back to when you were 10 years old. Right. Uh, were you out hunting turkey and deer? No. Were you out bagging out 18 holes of golf? No. Rolling a 246? No. All right. You know who has been doing all that? I have an idea. Yeah. Brady Smallwood. Yeah. A lot of power packed in this tiny 10-year-old frame. And, and maybe one of the most engaging 10-year-olds I've ever met in my life. And our, we thoroughly enjoyed our interviews with him and his dad, Tom. But I'll tell you what, the one thing that really stuck out to me, Tom was trying to make a point that somewhere down the road, Brady is going to go to a two-handed style. And remember Brady's response? He said, no way. No, it's coming. Never happening. It's coming. And he's got a fresh haircut yeah. as well. The On kid, point. oh man, th yeah. this kid is going to be fun to watch. He's even fun to listen to yeah. as well. Kimberly standing by with Brady and, and his dad, Tom, Tom Smallwood. Yeah, Tom. That's it. It was a fun interview, and something else I took from that pre-show interview was the fact that Brady here has no fear, and it was nothing but confidence. And I saw you taking some practice shots. Where does that confidence come from? I don't know, but mostly from him, and I don't really want to be too, like, nervous. I just want to be calm, and I would rather actually be bowling against them because they've been our friends for a long time, and... Oh, even the crowd is out there saying we love you, Brady. So let's talk about them for a second, because that guy right over there, Ronnie, I heard you guys trash talking, and you said yesterday you were not going to let him do that. What's up? Um, because... It started uh, when I was like, probably like six. We've been going back and forth for a very long time and I'm not gonna let him win. I love that confidence. And Tom, can we talk about the fact that you're gonna be bowling out here with your son? What does this moment mean to you? Uh, I've been so fortunate to do a lot of cool stuff bowling. I traveled the whole world, but uh, this is the moment of my life. Uh, I love that. I'm calling it right now. I think it's gonna be the Brady Show from here on out, guys. Well. No shortage of emotion in this one, right? And I mean, that's, what, that's what you get when you get these father-son combos. Yeah, I mean, we saw it in bars. You, you, you see just how much it means to the dad. So cool. Such a great moment. And, and by the way, Brady was feeling the pressure of the lights. I mean, when Kimberly comes walking up to you with the microphone, it, <laughs> it's broken many a man. Yeah. All right, let's meet the Smallwood family. He rolls out of Northview Lanes in Sanford, Michigan, a perfect 10, Brady Smallwood. His dad owns three career PBA Tour titles with two majors, Tom Smallwood. Hey, Ron, you know what? Brady's got the best do going. But this man, Tom, this, this man, Tom Smallwood, he's got three titles, two of them are majors. They're winning the 2018 Players Championship. You know who he beat to win that second major? Was it the nasty? No, it was no. Jason Belmonte. Ah, uh, oh, no. Yeah, right. That's right. And there he is with his family right there, daughter Hannah Rose, wife Jennifer. So Brady, four foot six, 70 pounds from Saginaw, Michigan. Get it, Brady. Get it, Brady. Get it, Brady. Get it, Brady. Ah! Great shot, bud. Great shot. All right, let's see how the spare game is for Brady, right? 
How about no nerves on that shot? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Gets up and aces it. Uh, this kid, this kid really impressed us. Fifth grader, loves his Detroit Tigers, loves his Detroit Lions. Pretty clear he loves his pops too, huh? Uh, yeah. Get over there, kid. Oh, man, that's a nice play. How about that? This slaps the king out of the way. Whatever, king, I'm coming for your crown. Up right, next, the Russells. I'm super loose. Yeah, me too. So I bet 20 minutes. He attends Noblesville High School in Indiana. 17-year-old Caden Russell. Yeah. He's in his career four PBA Tour titles and 10 regional titles. Country boy, Ronnie Russell. Yeah. Ronnie Russell with four career titles to his credit. His first coming at the 2012-13 Brunswick Euro Challenge. And here winning the 2014 PBA Bear Open, his last title, the Badger. A couple top 20 finishes this season at the Cheetah and the World Championship. But it'll be a 17-year-old son, Caden, a junior in high school. This season won the Indiana State Youth Masters. Competed at the Indiana High School Bowling State Championships as a freshman, as a sophomore won the Team State Championship. And Caden gets that one to fall! I ain't got that. I'm usually just hoping to hit the one three. Brady couldn't get the 10 to drop. Caden was able to get it. You know, I think the dads are more nervous than, than 100%. 100%. You know, we saw it last night, Wes Malott, you know, talking to his son, like, yeah. oh, I let you down, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then Barnes stepping up, needing that double. Saying it was like the most nervous he's ever been. Yeah. You know, in what, how many years? Ronnie oh, Russell. A lot. Messenger, get down oh, seven. Smalls, we're about to find out. Wow. <laughs> stubborn pins early on here. <laughs> What's that? No kidding. Barnes, the king, chirping at Russell early. It's easy to chirp when you're on the throne. Yes, yeah. small. <laughs> Ronnie and Tom toured on the tour together. They are roommates. They've been great friends since 2008. So, Caden knows Tom. Brady knows Ronnie. This family is very close on and off the lane. Tom Smallwood. His first shot here in the second. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! All right, Helmet, let's go. Right. Nice opening shot by Tom. We're gonna go to Chris Barnes. Chris, Ow. what kind of grief are you giving Ow. Ronnie early on? Well, sometimes that seven pin got a, it got a little tricky, uh, nice speed, you know, yesterday's show. So uh, I, I would just tell him that every once in a while it head fakes him, and so uh, but he he persevered. Brady Smallwood. Oh, got a hook. Got a hook. Got a hook. Right, get there. Hook. Get there. All right. We're on a strike, bud. One, two, three. Never done. Brady, nothing hurt. We're on a strike. Chris referencing the seven pin that he whipped last night by a lot. <laughs> Didn't hurt him, though, as they took care of the no. troops. Yeah. How good was it to see Guppy and Kyle together? Amazing. Come on, kid. Close. Got a chance. Beat the ball. Kick the marcher. Me. Kick it. Drop one. Sorry. Not dead of the year. All right. It's a good time, buddy. Come on. Caden steps up. Well, Ronnie was kind of like his personal Paul Heyman yesterday, like mega powerful, most power on the show. He was pumping his kid big time. And he's not lying. That sucker gets there fast and furious. In a hurry. Get carried. <laughs> Take a look at today's Brunswick oil pattern, the Carmen Salvino. The what? Carmen Salvino. What? The Carmen Salvino. Can't hear that name enough, right? What we've seen is the left lane. The players tend to hook it more on that lane and go straighter on the right lane. Oh, 
Oh, really? Seven again? What's the deal with the seven pin? All right, I'm gonna roll a little more. I guess the next one. Hey, Chris, what's the deal with the seven pin on the left lane? <laughs> I don't think that was a very good break there, but uh, looks like right now Ronnie and Brady are about even, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> Barnsey throwing in some smack talk there. <laughs> Woo! That spare ball has a core in it. It's fine. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'm doing exactly what I thought I was going to do. <laughs> so the Russells remain clean. Strike, nine spare, <laughs> strike, nine spare. So Caden carrying pops right now. And we turn over to Team Smallwood here <laughs> off first that strikes. open frame. Tom with the strike in the second. Here he is to close out the fourth. Twitter 10, your favorite pin. Yeah. Oh, man. We were talking to Tom yesterday about this opportunity to bowl with his son Brady. He said, man, dream come true to bowl with him. This, this is like top of the list type stuff. And yeah. you remember how that, that list began, right? The 2009 PBA World Championship, Wichita, Kansas. I do. You and I there, man. That win over then reigning PBA Player of the Year, West Milan. Missed it. <sighs> Spurs are hard. I figured. I know. All right, Brady, pick up pops. You know, I don't want to throw any salt on the wound, but Brady actually made his 10 pin in the first round. <laughs> is, that, is that wrong? Too early? Nope, Too early? nope. right on time, my okay. friend. Got a hook. Get up the hill. Brady, move your target in just a little bit, buddy. Sharp, confident kid. Listen, it, it's it's tough in TV to interview kids. It's kind of like a death sentence sometimes. Yeah. And we sat down with him yesterday, and uh, you know, Kimberly, you, me, we, we didn't want the interview to end. He was. For the big man, Brady Smallwood. That is your no-brainer spare of the game, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. The walk away. Guaranteed Rate, believe you will. Oh, what a great conversion. How good was that? He's got everybody cheering for him, even, oh even the current kings of the lane. Kane's got a nice second game, doesn't he? That boy, this kid. Yeah, I'm supposed it. to be really excited about this. We saw but it I'm last looking night really old at the moment. With Ryan Barnes, who you're going to see coming up later tonight, but you know, with Caden as well, you're like, hey, PBA, you're on notice. Yep. These dudes are coming, and they are bringing the heat. Caden and, and Ryan Barnes are very similar in, in terms of styles. You know, wait till you see uh, Brandon Bone tomorrow. Parker's son. Get there. That's better. Oh, oh, really? Again? Oh, hey, Chris, <laughs> I know you have something to do with this. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? I, I, if I could, I would. Actually, I can't even make it up. I, the half pocket, uh, stone seven, another half pocket one. Um, you know, we're just sitting over here watching this side. We want him to finish it. on this lane also later. It's good on. At repeating shots. Look at my little trough I got built. <laughs> See if I can repeat this one. Missed that one. Nope. Got yeah. it. So three nine spares. He's gonna be trying for the seven then. And a 17-year-old son. <laughs> strike. 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 Caden carrying the old man early on. <laughs> Team Smallwood, Brady and Tom, can they claw their way back into this one? The King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition rolls on on FS1 next. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash-out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia in the new Forte GT. It is one fantastic ride.
We welcome you back inside Bolero Jupiter here in Jupiter, Florida. Continuing coverage of the 2022 King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition. Second of three consecutive nights for the Royal Family Edition here on FS1. And then Thursday and Friday, it's kind of the OG, the original King of the Lanes takes over the OA. Tom Smallwood, he and his son down 23. We close out the sixth. Get there. And it does get there. I can't miss that spare. <laughs> Go. Listen to Brady, he's got all the lingo down too. Come on now. You hear him saying, get there. Blowing in the, blown in the thumb Blows hole in the well. thumb hole, oh yeah. Nice looking shot there by yeah, Tom, well. his second strike. Oh my God, dude. Run down. Run down. Run down. Just right on the edge of that oil line, you know, he gets it just a smidge right. But he knows it. Right. That's what we wanted to do. I'm like, I'll let you do want to move right, do it this way. Yeah, he needs to get that about an inch or two farther left at the arrows. And oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like that! Perfect. Here's the bar. You all open? Or no, it's so but you need to move like to the third arrow area because you're so close out of bounds. Okay, bud? Mm -hmm. But he's had some great, great spare conversions. He's hit it. He really has. Caden Russell doesn't mess around with spares. Spares no. are not in his game. No. It is nothing but strikes for this 17 year old. Four straight strikes for Caden Russell. You see that. Are Yellow duck bets? there on the shoulder of his jersey. That's to honor his late friend, Cayman Burton. 18-year-old friend oh, passed away recently due to cancer. His nickname, of course, was Ducky. Uh, you know, we always hate to hear these stories, but yeah. gosh, a teenager Sad. succumbing to cancer. So nice work, Caden. Let's see if on, Ronnie can do down. something besides a nine spare. There we go. Wait, no seven pin? Nope. Nope, he got them all down on his first try. Already. Oh, I thought sure it was gonna be a nice man. Lead now at 33. Tom will try to cut into that one. His life story. Made it to a television show this year. Yeah, Amazing. pretty cool. Oh God, get lucky. Not gonna get lucky on All that right, one. Brady. You know what? If he was smart, he'd have Brady step up and clean this up for him. He, you know what that part time. of the lane yeah. is? The lane is out there, Rob. No man's lane? Yeah, plus it's slicker than an otter's pocket. You wanna look at me, thanks. <laughs> and that's why you can't play that part of the lane. No friction. Kind of like our relationship. Frictionless. Yeah. Well, that seven pin got jumped late. If he would have missed on, that, there's no way he could have lived that down with Brady. Oh, he'd be reminding him all the time. Dad, you know, I, I made the one, yeah. two, four, seven. Um, what happened? I mean, that, that, that ball's bigger than his head. <laughs> oh, Brady finished strong, kid. Well, don't let Ronnie shoot that for you. <laughs> what is with the seven pin on the left right? Look out. Look out, Brady. Sorry, Brady. Great shot. Great shot, bud. Yep. Tune in to Race Hub weeknights on FS1. Expert analysis and opinions from the best in NASCAR as they break down the hottest names inside the car. And out on the track, Race Hub weeknights, 6 Eastern on FS1 and the Fox Sports Hub. We got to get one of those for I was like you, say, me, and can, Kimberly. Can we not get something that like that? Awesome. Wouldn't that be cool? To promo our events?
Caden Russell, nothing but strikes. Uh, I, just saw, I just saw a yellow flag being thrown for flipping on the 10 pin. Unnecessary roughing. My goodness, uh, he has been impressive. And Ronnie was bragging about him, and for good measure. Get through. Uh, yesterday, talking with these guys, Ro Ronnie was the talker. Caden was talking. just like, I'll let my bowling do the talking. Yeah. So it's going to be the Russells taking on the Barnes. And the Barnes sitting in their thrones right now, hold on to their King of the Lanes crown. Ronnie. The other my, version of the song was better, sorry. My Mike. guess is Ronnie's gonna stay on that left lane, would you say? I don't know if we're gonna flip or not. Yeah. Well, I think if the Barnes had a choice, they'd keep him down there. Although Ronnie started to figure that one out pretty late. Bad, buddy. It's gonna be a really interesting matchup though. You've got two players, the uh, dads <laughs> using their thumbs. The sons, two-handed style, no thumb. The two sons, very similar in yeah. style. Uh, this is an even match, for sure. Yeah. Yesterday, or last night, no offense to our good well, friend Guppy Troop. You guys see what ball looks like you know, Kyle was, him. Kyle was born with a bit of a handicap, right? The old man out there put on a great show, but it wasn't exactly a fair fight. This one is, this one is going to be pretty. I expected that shot way more often. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, so Ronnie just finishing yeah. up with the 238. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Here's Tom. Close out the tenth. Good guy right there. Man, tell me about it. I'll tell you what. Him and, him and his son, so close. They do everything together. Yeah, really, neat to, really need to see that All relationship. Right, no, no. It yeah, was, yeah, yeah. it was so obvious how, how close these two are. The other. That's mini me right yeah, there, yeah, right? Absolutely. Sharp kid. He's a good boy. Yeah, I'm not looking to add any more mouths to feed in my house, but I'll bring that boy in the house. Oh, heartbeat. Right? right? In our interviews with him, it was funny when they were talking about, and you mentioned it start of the show you know they, they hunt together they you know they bowl together and then Tom just kind of dropped it we played golf together yesterday yeah, 18 holes <laughs> yeah Tom did not have to be the sportsman for Brady no. Brady able to handle it on his own so the small words are done with a 160 they are through here at the King Belay's Royal Family Edition but not True for Ronnie and Caden. They've got two kings in their eyesight that they're looking to dethrone the Russells. And the Barnes coming up next here on FS1. King of the Lanes coverage continues tomorrow night with another edition of the Royal Family Showdown. Contenders Parker and Brandon Bone taking on, I'm excited about this team, CDB Carolyn Doran Ballard and her daughter Alyssa Ballard, who's off to Vanderbilt University. The winners to take on your reigning Royal Family winners. Rob Stowe, Randy Peterson, back here with you as we get set for our title showdown for tonight, at least. Why do you have such high expectations for this one? Uh, the teams are evenly matched, and uh, I think this is going to be the highest level of competition we've seen throughout. Uh, if we go back to the, ma the match we just saw, Caden never missed. Right. He was perfect with every shot that he threw. Uh, Dad actually never missed the pocket and he left those three seven pins in a row, but it was all Caden for that team. And then Ronnie was able to figure things out. Yeah. They take on, though, the, the reigning champs, right? The Barnes family took care of the troops last night. Yeah, and, and again, you know, Ryan and Caden are so similar in style. Mm -hmm. They both like to, to bring the heat. Uh, they're two-handed styles with a lot of speed and power. Chris Barnes proved he could do anything he wants. He can go straight, he can hook it, and Ronnie can do the same. 
great bloodlines from these two athletes yeah. and two names you're going to want to remember because you're probably going to be seeing them sooner rather than later right here on the PBA Tour. But the old men still have something to say about this one, right? <laughs> Barney and Ronnie. It's the Barneses versus the Russells coming up next. Rob, Randy, Kimberly, welcoming you back to Bolero Jupiter and the online graphics you see tonight, including the ball tracer, courtesy of Clutch Bowling. All right. The Russells moved on. Caden will go up first, and as we mentioned, Caden perfect last match. They are flipping lanes, right? So. Caden slides over to that left lane, which gave his dad some issues early on, and then Ronnie was able to figure it out. Does he go straight? Does he hook it? Everybody's hooked it on that left lane. I bet it gets there fast, regardless. He's going straight. It's good, man. Yeah. This kid is good. Yep. All right, let's meet the royal family. The reigning royal family, a member of Junior Team USA and Wichita State sophomore, Brian Barnes. His dad owns 19 career PBA tour titles and three majors, PBA Hall of Famer, Chris Barnes. All right, let's go back to last night and how they got here, the Barnes having to take on the Mallott family. Yeah, and uh, it was all Barnes in the 10th frame when he doubled yes, to shut out the Mallotts. Did just that, needed two, got two. And then the final match against Kyle and Gup. Gup. It's officially, officially Gup now. Yeah. Again, it was uh, Ryan starting off early. The, the pair, Chris and Ryan, start off with the front four, and they went 229, 169. And they are the reigning royal family. All right, boss. Good one here. All right, so Ryan okay. will bat lead off. Young man out of Denton, Texas. Yeah. Woo! Kidding me? Rivalry is real. Oh, these kids are good, man. I'll get it, I'll get it. Don't worry, I got it. Chris, 52 years he strikes old. strikes in first frame. I'm too nervous. I can't even. Can we get a med check on the senior over here or what? <laughs> a nice dart from Ronnie. Oh, that was a good one. PBA 50 member, Chris Barnes. See that, no much, pin? much lower reverent. Here's another good dig. Not bad for a guy my age. <laughs> 52 <laughs> years old this party. Age. Giving it right oh, back to Ronnie saying, hey, I got the seven, seven pin out on that lane. I won't be shooting him by then, buddy. But Chris, a much lower rev rate than Caden, and he's like covering twice as much ground. Come on, get through. <laughs> Ronnie gets that one to go as well. Nothing but strike so far through two. Super predictable. All right, now I'm, I want you to pay attention to what happens after they release the bowling ball. Watch the recoil and what they do with their hands and their arms. It's identical. Isn't that crazy? You think Caden got that from watching his dad? Maybe. Yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Didn't like it. Goes Brooklyn. <laughs> To be fair, most two do carry that, so you got to work on some things. <laughs> that's got a hook. So, to be fair, he's a Russell. That shot's going to come out every now and then. Love it. 
<laughs> a little snub to Barnes. He was trying my to give knuckles. Missing right and, missing at the bottom, so. and then Chris fires back. Yeah, just like your dad. There's Ryan, turned 20 recently. Sophomore at Wichita State. First team All-American last season. That, wow, same shots. That's as fast as anything you'll see out here on tour from the pros. Pull left. Is that one up? Double tap it. Well, every weekday morning, Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp go head to head on the day's hottest sports topics. It is undisputed with Skip and Shannon. Weekdays, 9:30 to noon Eastern, only on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. I bet, I bet they're going to mention LeBron James' name at some point through the show. Why? Because they always do. Skip, not a fan. They just they like discussing LeBron. Everybody likes talking about LeBron except for LeBron. Oh boy. Five seven split. Well, so well, well. So when you get my well. I'm gonna leave one more than that seven pick. <laughs> All right. Five That's seven, huh? Well, there's a seven pin again, but only problem this time the five pins with it. Yeah. You got this. <laughs> Ronnie's enjoying this one. This is bottom. Already <laughs> did that. Yeah, just get it over here and cut that five pin into the seven. After the baby split, it's probably the easiest of splits to try to convert. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, very nice. Just like you drew it up, Randy. Never doubt. I'm gonna be as old as Dick Weber. I gotta make the stairs, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, nice. I <laughs> Perfect. Move a couple boards left. Keep your strike target the same. And cut the five into the seven. Didn't finish. As expected, tight one early on. Two pins separating these two teams. Two families. Get through. Remember Ronnie kind of with a slow start. I was nervous start. about overhitting it, so I didn't do that. In that opening match, a bunch <laughs> yeah. of nine spares, and then figured things out. Coming right lane, yeah. he's coming in strong right off the bat. Coming in, uh, come, he's starting to, to come alive here. So Ronnie with strikes in the second and the fourth. Caden had a nine spare in the third. Here he is in the fifth. <laughs> That's what we've grown used to seeing from him. Good one. Real lie. nice, doubling up after dad strike. Off the ball for a second. Mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> Beginning with push out the ball came off. <laughs> Man, even in slow mo, that sucker's hustling down lane, isn't Man. it? It's one thing with you know the two-handed style. Of, yeah, we know that they can bring the heat when they want to. You know, we've seen Belmonte and. Simonson shape it differently at times, you know. But these kids just fire it. And there's messengers flying around just in case somebody wants to stand. Yeah, the, the splinters. <laughs> Not much left, except maybe a new box of pins to be added to that way. Yeah. Get the seven out. Oh. Dead. We, that's in the good zone. I knew that was target. Just two pins still separating. The royal family of the Barnes, the Russells, trying to take the crown from their head. We'll find out who has it next.
The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia and the new Forte GT. It is one fantastic ride. And welcome back to King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition. Earlier tonight, Ronnie and Caden Russell able to get through Tom and Brady Smallwood. There's the two Smallwoods. Um, so the bowling may be done, Kimberly, but they've been active, particularly Brady. Absolutely, because you guys just saw them sitting in the fans, and uh, Brady has become just as famous as his dad because he oh, was over left. there signing posters and taking pictures with fans during the break. <laughs> so good. So good. Love this bowling community. There he is. If only I could get my hair to do that. Right? Great cut. Oh, goodness. Shot. So out of the commercial break, Ronnie really getting a spare. You. One <laughs> pin separating on, Bob, these two Let's families. Go. Huh? You want to see how different <laughs> Ronnie and uh, Caden are playing the lanes? Rob, please. All right, so Caden's the blue ball. Ronnie's the red ball. Now, I want you to just notice the separation. Uh, it appears the blue ball is getting there <laughs> faster. <laughs> Much. <laughs> And here is Caden on the left. Play there. Got there in a hurry again. I missed that at the bottom, and I got that in the left. It's like, hey, Dad, you know, if you would have struck there, we would have had, <laughs> right? we would have had a hambo. Hey, Dad, I'm, I'm tired of carrying this team, this right? family. Caden with three strikes so far. Back to Ryan Barnes. Snatches oh, that strike. Oh my. Good day, sir. <laughs> Good day, sir. The steal. Come on. He was wishing this one. Watch the pin action, though. Oh, jeez. See the max scores right there. If the Barnes keep striking, they can't be shut out. Hey. Yes, sir. You said keep striking. No, good shot, sir. Good shot. Head on over to PBA.com. Check out the PBA Pro Bowling video game. It features top PBA pros, real equipment, authentic oil patterns, and more than 100 tournaments and online play. It's now available on, for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and your PC. Ronnie Russell getting all 10 to drop there. Whew. Thanks, Land Man. Uh, two strikes in a row for the Russell family. There's Ronnie's wife, Michelle. Caden's mom. Of a mile left. All right, big shot here to set up the tenth. Yeah, Caden. Tonight, we only had one shot that was not. That's way more than He's really held up that team. Say thank you. Thank you. That's what you do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Or just say you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good one here. Again, Ryan, sophomore on the men's bowling team at Wichita State, one of the true powerhouses in men's collegiate bowling. Oh boy, what a team they have. All American this season. Get off of it. Oh! Yeah. Oh, these two kids are fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, he set the table for dad. So I'd set that one. Let's go. You know, Barney can strike out here. They've got the win. They keep the crowns. Yep, just a double. And that'll put him in the 260s. 
two and two. That's what he needed against the Malats yep. last night. I don't think Chris still has game. Think again. One more. One more. Yeah, this is some. This is some big time clutch yeah, rolling the last couple nights from Chris Barnes. Reset. Yeah, this is a good one, Rob. See the rotation there because he's using angle and to get the ball back, you got to have side rotation. That's exactly what Chris is doing. Keep the crown. Hit. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Big elbow on that one. <laughs> Keep it out of the gutter. I didn't notice. And they'll be hey, the kings for the second hey, night in a row here on FS1. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, think you'll, I think you'll be fine. Exactly. Yeah. I'll judge you guys. Only needs two, he'll take 10. 267, 258, that is your satisfying moment of the match, sponsored by Snickers. <laughs> Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Nothing satisfies like another father-son win for Team Barnes. Russell, two more strikes, we'll end up with a 258. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just that one 10 yeah, pin in the six for Ronnie. Rob, otherwise, he could have struck out for 270. You know, there's only one thing that's going through my head right now. What's that? From Caden. Thanks a lot, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Can I get back from there? Nope. Nope. Okay. Hey, Dad, maybe right you did now. your job, yeah, Dad. Right. Thanks a lot, Dad. Hey, let me, let me right tell you what, it's time to shovel the driveway or mow the lawn. Uh, yeah. I think Kane's like, two hey, is. Dad, why don't you take, take this shift? <laughs> you, take, you take this shift. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy, Roddy tried a little two-handed <laughs> style there. Yeah. 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 Felt like me trying. Mm -hmm. Good, uh, good, good clean fun on. right there. Good game, man. Good job, man. Good luck to you. Looking forward to seeing you. Yes, sir. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Well, maybe. So 267, 242, second straight night that the royal family crown and scepter and robes are held by the Barnes family. Has Caden committed anywhere? Only a junior. So he hasn't committed. <laughs> nope. And you see Ryan was trying to hey. recruit him to Wichita hey, come State. On, come on down to the yeah. great state of Kansas, my friend. Why not? <laughs> Kid can roll, but the Barnes are still your kings. Kimberly? You guys are looking mighty comfortable over here for a second night in a row, but uh, you guys ended with a 267. Why did you guys make it look so easy? What is it going on between you two that you were able to do that? Well, I think that right lane's a little tougher, and if he'd have made me bowl on it, then uh, we probably would have shot a lot less. Uh, he made a lot of really good shots on that lane and, and was able to get those half those half pocket shots, and that, that's what the power and and uh, actually is all about. So his best shot was actually a ring 10, and yeah. other than that, he, he bowled fantastic. And what has this experience been like for you? Oh, this is surreal. This is awesome. This is a dream come true. I love to hear it. Well, go ahead and sit on those thrones once again. Congratulations. Is it just me or does Ryan look like if he wasn't bowling, he could start in like uh, Aladdin? Oh, good call right? on the Aladdin. The hairdo <laughs> and then the magic carpet yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow night, we know the showdowns. Parker Bone the third and his son, Brandon Bone, taking on CDB, Carolyn Doran Ballard and her daughter, Alyssa Ballard. Let me tell you, Alyssa Ballard yeah. is a baller. She's taking her game yes. to Vanderbilt next year. The winners to take on your reigning two-time defending royal family winners, Team Barnes. That one coming your way here on FS1, 9 Eastern tomorrow night. For Randy Peterson, Kimberly Presser, and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. This has been the PBA on FS1. Night two in the books. We will see you again tomorrow night as we wrap up the 2022 King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition.